What is up everyone? Welcome back to another NSP setup video. This one's going to be for the Yeezy Foam Runners coming out tomorrow on May 29th. And as of right now, I don't see it dropping on any foot sites, so I'm only going to be going over Yeezy Supply and then a couple Shopify sites. So I'm just going to get right into the setup now. The first site I'm going to do is Yeezy Supply. And make sure you pay attention to this one because there's a certain step you're going to have to do. So, by the way, here's the PIDs for the Yeezy Supply. You're going to have to put these in for whatever you know foam runner you want to go for. So here it is. You could pause the video if you want to fill those in. So first I'm going to do the sand one since there's only going to be one PID here so it's easier. I'm just going to copy and paste this into the Yeezy Supply right here where it says PID. The mode, there's only one mode so obviously put it on normal. Sizes, I believe all sizes for these foam runners will be profitable, but I believe Yeezy likes to release sizes like 16, 17, and 18, and I don't really want to go for those, so I'm just going to type in 4.5 all the way to, I believe, I'm probably going to go up to 15, but make sure when you're doing this, you separate all this, the numbers with commas, and you don't put any spaces or anything in between, just the number separated by the comma so exactly like this after you put the sizes in select your billing proxies right now I'm just using oculus DC leaf residential Jiru residential and Omega residential I know some of you guys ask me what these numbers are these are this is just the date where I generated them because I like to keep track of how old they are but it's nothing too special for those but yeah, just put, click your proxies. Advanced, I like to leave mine alone. Uh, these are dropping, I live on the west coast in California, so our drops are at 6 a.m. <clears throat> if you live on the east coast, your drops will probably be at 9 a.m. So I like to <clears throat> start the task right at 6. Usually NSB tells us in the Discord exactly when to start it, like they'll ping all of us to start it right now. But usually I just let the task or I just let the bot auto run while I'm sleeping since 6 a.m. is pretty early for me. So I just like to schedule it at 6. So once you once you complete all your tasks and get them all set up, the next step you're gonna want to do is go to head over to CAPTCHA, click the second one right here. You're gonna click it, select site. We're doing Yeezy Supply, so go down to Yeezy Supply and then put open solver. You'll see here this page pops up. By the way, do this before the drop. You don't have to do it the day before. There's no point if you close the NSB. It's just gonna you're just gonna have to restart the step. So do this. I would say like 10 minutes before the drop. So do this. Do not close this tab. You can see it right here. Open up a new tab. Click on Gmail right here. Go to sign in. And then sign in with your email. After you sign in with your email, it'll take you to the page where it shows you all your mails or your emails. Don't close that page. Don't do anything. Just leave it on that page. I'm not going to sign into mine, obviously, but once that screen pops up, don't close it. Leave this page open and then the that page where it shows your Gmail is open. And just minimize it. What that will do is for these tasks, it will allow the bot to auto-solve your CAPTCHAs. So you, you won't have to deal with any CAPTCHAs. So make sure you do that step, and then make sure you don't close the tab. So that's pretty much all you have to do for Yeezy Supply, that's how you set it up. Make sure you do that step, it'll make the running for Yeezy Supply much easier. But next, I'm going to go for, I'm going to go on the Shopify site now. Also for Yeezy Supply, since it could auto solve your captures, feel free to make as much tasks as you want, since you want to deal with any of those. But now I'm going to head over to Shopify. Here's the keywords that you could use. You can see mineral blue for adult sizing. You use these keywords. For kids, like grade school, you use these. And then for infants, you just use these. And then for sand, you would just copy that. So you just copy and paste exactly what it says right here. This is I got this from the NSB Discord. This is what they recommended. So use those keywords. But for the sites, I'm looking at it right here. The first site I'm gonna do is social status. 
which is dropping at 7 a.m. on the East Coast, 4 a.m. here on the West Coast. And it looks like right here it's a confirmed drop. So, social status. I believe for social status, though, you could get a link. So when I could get a link, I like to use that instead of keywords, just in case the keywords don't work. But I could be wrong. I thought I saw it the other day. Okay, it's not in here, so I'll just use the keywords. So for example, for the sand foam runners, you just copy and paste exactly that into right here, keywords. For the mode, use Cyborg 3.0. Sizing, again, I don't know what sizes they're gonna have, and I don't want you know anything above 15. So I'll type it out. I don't wanna type it out right now, because I did that earlier and it takes time, but you know, you guys get what I mean. But if you just want a random size, you could just leave it blank or type in RA. It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. I'm just going to leave it blank for now. Billing. This is a Shopify site, so I recommend you use no proxy, a DC, or ISP. Residential is okay too, but it's a bit slower for those, and you could get your proxy block. So, for example, I'll do no proxy. <clears throat> for Shopify, I like to go a little lower on this. You can see that the default is 3500. I like to go 3333 three, three for each. Schedule task is dropping at 4 a.m. where I live, so I'll start at two minutes before. You don't need to click require login because you don't need an account. All right, you might, but I don't think you do. And force capture, you could click that. And that's how you make the task for social status for the sand foam runners, for the mineral blues. Or the mineral blue you could here's the keywords I'll do adult for now but you can see exactly what I mean just copy and paste exactly what it says just like that and then for this task I probably do the oculus DC so that's exactly how you do it for social status now I'm gonna head over to APB's store And these steps for the Shopify is exactly the same for all. So if you saw what I did for social status, you're going to do exactly the same for APB and any other or most of the, uh, all the other Shopify sites. So you just copy and paste the keywords here into the bot. It's really that simple. Start at two minutes before. And that's how you do it. Here's one last site. I don't really know how to say it, so I'm not going to say it, but you'll see what site right here keywords the same and there it is so these are the only sites I'm gonna go for tomorrow I can see right here I'm looking at the discord easy supplies confirmed drop at 6 a.m. west coast time these three sites are confirmed confirmed releases at 4 a.m. here on the west coast and it also says right here it could release at 10 a.m. so they're for sure releasing it we just don't know what time it's either going to drop at 4 a.m. though or 7 a.m. on here on the west coast. So remember that. It also says here it's going to drop on Kith. But for Kith, NSB likes to release the exact link about 10 minutes before the drop. But right now, it's not in the Discord. So for right now, you could also put in the keywords just in case they don't have the link. But this Kith dropping at 7 a.m. where I live, so 10... 10 a.m. on the East Coast. Ooh. So I'll start at two minutes before. So at 6.58. Again, this is a Shopify site, so the same exact steps as Social Status, APB, and the other site, Cyborg 3.0. And you'll notice here, when I leave the size blank, you'll see right here, it's gonna pop up as an RA for random. So I say, you could just leave it blank. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter, they're all the same. But that's gonna wrap up today's setup video. This is the setup for the Yeezy Foam Runners dropping tomorrow, May 29th. This drop's going to be extremely hard, so just try your best. Good luck on that. If you have any questions at all, DM me on my Instagram at jcresales559 or leave it down in the comments. I've been trying to get back to every single comment, so just keep it up. I don't really, I don't mind helping you guys out. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.